All right, let's get into our first discussion now. We have been following mm -hmm. the abduction of six boys from uh, the Maligo State Model College in Ibonla and the question in the minds of parents and mm. teachers mm. and everyone, Nigerians, is when will well, they, they regain return. their freedom? Yes, it's and uh, of course you have their names uh, reeled out mm. there. Uh, there's uh, Peter Jonah, mm. Ishiak Ramon, Adebayo George, Judah Agbausi, Kwelumi Phillips, and Farouk Yusuf. Mm. They were abducted from the Lagos State Model College in May. And that's uh, 56, 56 days ago. 56 days ago. And we're still counting. We hope not to count again. Mm. Uh, when will they regain or reunite with their parents is the big question. We, have, we can join the conversation online by tweeting at TBC Breakfast on Twitter using the hashtag ekbe 6 That's it. All right, before we uh, start off with our discussion this morning, uh, let's remind our viewers on TVC Entertainment that you can continue to join uh, the show on DSTV 418, Go TV 45, and Free TV 701. And if you're in Southern Africa, you can join us on Starsat 270. And if you're in Western Africa, you can join us on Star Times 307. All right, uh, thanks for remaining with us. Now, our guest in the studio is uh, the vice chairman of the Nigerian Union of Teachers, also known as the NUT, Comrade Adedoyi Additional. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Good morning. Uh, Thank uh, you. Of course, You're you are of the NUT, and it's 56 days that these boys have been in captivity. H have you, as a group, the NUT, uh, I'm talking about, uh, been able to decipher, to, you know, to actually put your finger on it and say this is the reason why schools especially public schools remain a target of these kidnappers uh, thank you very much uh it is quite unfortunate about the incident mm -hmm. because uh, he, the, 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 that one was not the first time that the school had been targeted mm -hmm. i remember at that time we had uh, one principal one class teacher and about uh, for pupils, uh, for students, students also. That was sometime last year. Yeah, that, yes. that was sometime last year. Mm -hmm. Before the, after much uh, efforts, uh, feed, ransom, and everything, uh, and they left them. Be that as me. We in Nigeria, you know, of teachers, we are becoming so worried about this issue of uh, abduction. Because the situation where we have um, even our members, not only the, the students now, they are teaching, facing with such a problem, mm -hmm. and without any solution, then they, 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 that means the academic environment is having serious uh, challenges and problems. So we, we, uh, the, 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 the Jonah in question mm -hmm. is one of the, one of the son of our principal. Okay. The mother is the principal, the father is the principal. At the same school? Not in that school. Okay, okay. In, different in school. Nepal, in Nepal, in another school, in other schools in Nepal. Okay. Mm. But the child is in that uh, mother college at uh, Ibola. So that's the first name on that list. Mm -hmm. list. Peter Jonah. Yeah, Peter Jonah. Mm. He's, he's, one of, he's, 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 he's the son of one of us. So we, we are not only teachers. You know, to those pupils and students we teach, we are in local parents to them. Mm. We, are, we serve as their parents, spend the time, they go back to their parents. So, so we too have worry because the, the, the security being provided in that area is not enough because that place is a secluded area. If you have been there, you will notice that it's completely detached from the main, the main town. All right, now, now as this We've had this on our hands right now. From the NUT, what is the union doing? Mm -hmm. Is the union doing anything to either engage with uh, more schools as to take precaution, or they're engaging with government, or they're engaging with we the have, parents? We, we, we have written, okay. and we have made a position known that security threat to the life and properties to our members and our students 
is a big challenge to us, and government must find solution to this thing. You see that we have a first break in our school calendar. Mm. It has a sort of because it, 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 I thought it was on Wednesday before that preceded the Tuesday the school the, the closed the secondary school down, mm. especially the boarding school. The, the, we had another target at a government college K2, but they were repelled oh. by the police and the local vigilantes. So government should do more than enough. And the security issue is not the issue of one person alone. They must involve the local. You, know, you see, when you are when you are saddled with the responsibility, for you now to go knife within that community with uh, the people it becomes uh, difficult. It becomes very difficult okay, because so they know that you have been saddled. That okay, this thing, you, know, you are in charge. You. Like so if say, anything happens, you know that uh, if anything should happen. I will be held responsible. Like they say, mm. to secure your goods and property, mm. just give it to a thief. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and you'll be safe. <laughs> you'll be safe. Uh, now, it's interesting you, you said that uh, you cannot leave security to one person alone, but can you totally absolve the schools themselves of uh, you know, uh, the, the issue of providing security for the schools? What exactly should the schools be doing? Because li like we, of course, established, the Bonla College is the second time they've been... Yes, yeah, they've been there. They've been targeted. Yeah. And obviously, it's like the school didn't really even do anything to there's nothing improve the, there's the security nothing the, situation. There's nothing the, 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 the school principal can do. It, it, it's very little. He is to get across to the employer, to mm. the government, to make sure that he prepared this thing. But what I'm saying is mm. that uh, the, there should be collaboration between the parent forum, the community, the government, and the, 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 the security agent at large. We have been saying that uh, because we had, you, you, they place police at the door, at the, at, at the main gate. Will those mm. people come in through the main gate? Mm. They won't come through the, the one they did, like, they, they broke the they fence. They broke through the fence. Mm. So what they need to do is that even at various points, that is where the, the, the need for the engagement of the local vigilantes, the local securities, mm. so that at distance, even if they are coming, they will see them. They will raise alarm. All right. Uh, uh, I, doing, I, I am glad you said earlier on that you are not just teachers. You are parents mm -hmm. to these people. You are custodian. You are guardian. You are counselors to these children. Your union has been on ground for quite a long time. We grew up knowing NUT as uh, mm -hmm. one of the umbrella bodies for all our teachers. In this case, where we're talking about everybody taking role, taking responsibility, coming on board with something, contributing something, we expect the NUT, one way or the other, to start putting all principals together, to start putting teachers together, mm -hmm. to try to see how they can co coordinate or conduct a drill to enlighten people. What is the NUT doing in that regard, apart from writing to the, to the government? And yes, so we were, thank you very much. We have not been very docile okay. in that area, you have said. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we, uh, this is a profession where we don't have a single literate. Enlightenment campaign. We have put it up. That's one of those reasons why we said that uh, we are telling our, our people that there is need for the involvement of the parent forum, mm. the involvement of the community, whereby the local vigilantes will be employed to complement the efforts of the security agents. And even we have even said that uh, pupils should be taught on the issue of a uh, security or how to raise a security alert. Mm. So we have not been fooling out. What we have been seeing may not may not have been coming to public jail. It is so how how cooperative have the parents been? Have you been engaging the parents at all? Uh, yeah, in, yeah, yes, we, uh, uh, I remember they are in Kakon, Mude College at Kakon. But mm. I agree. But I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes ago also they wrote them before yeah. the, the break of the salad that they want to strike. The principal quickly came, wrote, uh, this in, informed the ballet of that area, mm -hmm. I think ballet of uh, APA, all of them, they now try to complement their effort. Even the PF, the PF forum came together, okay. they said that, okay, what they're going to do now is that instead of them to pay 10 million, 5 million to those uh, terrorists mm -hmm. or the abductors, 
Why can't they come together, pull resources together, complement the effort of the school as being suggested by, by, some, by, 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 by the teachers? So that in the area of security, in the area of security, mm. but government also need to relax in their bureaucracy. Okay. Because mm. with the system of Lagos government is that don't collect money. We, we, we are not to collect money from anybody, but the PF cannot. Even before the PF can do it, they still need to write to the government. Mm. So, because of a long process, if we are, we are still waiting for those longer processes. It, it is me. Okay, I'm what you're saying in, in essence mm. is that the school cannot uh, levy parents. They, they can't. Without the they authority can't. or even if the parent forum they want to levy, if the parent forum levy themselves also, mm. Mm. they can have their meeting, have their re re resolution. But the resolution must be passed to the appropriate approval. So, the so they even they when the money is raised, yeah. And we have money in our hands right now as the parents', parents. forum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have to still write for the monies to be accepted and used in the school? They, even before they can collect, they have to write. Wow. Uh, so that, that's why I'm saying that even government itself needs they have to, relax to relax the bureaucracy. The bureaucracy. Mm. Wow. Mm. Because of the security of the challenges that we are, we are having. Mm. Okay, um, we, we, have, we have reports from Japan that uh, the schools, they carry out drills on their students, mm -hmm. young elementary school children, teaching them in case there's going to be, because in the face of threats from North Korea, in case there's any kind of bomb or attack or something, you should, this is the first thing you do, this is a precautionary measures you should take and, and so on. Mm -hmm. We're expecting something like that in the school how well, difficult or challenging would it be to yeah, no, have a situation uh, like it, 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 it's okay because uh, they are just having to give them the military background because i remember that uh, in those days when we were very young we were told that there's no american president that we have they have had that without a military background, military background. Mm. Is that okay? you see it, it is very good but because of the complexity of our society here if those children are giving those uh, this thing. It is very good to give them education, security alert, how to combat uh, this, how to combat that. But because of the nature of our society here, when those children turn around to be another thing, even me are watching the <laughs> the foreign film, mm. we are seeing them. They are putting into place. I remember sometimes ago, one boy uh, was seeing them. They were shooting all this. He now saw the he put the, the father's gone. Uh, yeah, that's a sad uh, reality, but the point is, like they say, society is dynamic, uh, society continues to change, and it means we must reflect the change mm. that is, you know, going on in our society. Mm. Adedoyin Adishino is first vice chairman, NUT, that's the Nigerian Union of Teachers, Lagos chapter. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, on the you. show. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you.